Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have t plus 9 whole square is equals to 49 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So here we solve this problem uh, for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now we move forward and we can solve this problem for our first method and now here in the first method we uh, solve this problem uh, with the help of this nice algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to uh, this uh, algebraic formula, first we need to uh, write this uh, given question into the standard form of this equation. Uh, so first we need to move 49 in the left hand side so that uh, it will be written as, so that first we move 49 in the left hand side and it will be written as t plus 9 whole square minus 49 is equals to 0. And now uh, we write uh, 79, uh, we write this 49 as t plus 9 whole square minus, we know that uh, 49 is equals to 7 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. So according to this formula, uh, we write these uh, this equation as First you have a minus b here our a is t plus 9 minus b is 7 and a plus b again our a is t plus 9 and plus b is equals to 7 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms so we have uh, this is 9 minus 7 equals to 2 and this is uh, t plus 9 plus 7 is equals to 16 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t plus 16 equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of t is equals to minus t minus 2 this is the our uh, first real root of the given equation and now from here we easily get the value of t is equals to minus 16 and this is the second real root of the given equation. So these are the uh, two solutions which we get here from the first method and now we again and solve this problem for a second method and now for a second method we first copy down given question statement here and it is t plus 9 whole square is equals to 49 so this is the our question statement uh, and now here in the second method uh, we uh, solve this problem uh, with the help of another algebraic formula you know that uh, if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so here if you focus in the left hand side uh, the uh, this term is our a means t is our a and 9 is our b so we put uh, these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula so according to uh, this formula we write uh, this term as First you have a square, here our a is t, so it will become t square plus 2 times of a b. So a, here our a is t and b is 9 plus b square, so b is 9 square and this whole equation equals to 49. And now again we add or subtract the like terms, we have this is t square plus 9 times of 2 becomes 18 t and plus this 9 square equals to 81 and this is plus 49 when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 49 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have t square plus uh, 
18 t and 81 minus 49 is equals to plus 32 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, you see here this is the quadratic equation in t variable so there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation uh, one is factorization method the second one is completing square and the third method is uh, quadratic formula so here uh, we can apply the quadratic formula to solve this problem so for quadratic formula uh, we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 18 and c is equals to 32 and we state the quadratic formula as t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a b and c in this formula so that uh, when you put these values in this formula it will be written as t is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 18 and plus minus square root of b square so b is 18 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 32 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and it will be written as t is equals to minus 18 plus minus square root of we know that 18 square equals to 324 and we multiply 4 by 32 you see here 4 2 is 8 and 4 3 is 12 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need uh, more simplifications here and we subtract these two values so after subtraction of the values we get minus 18 plus minus square root of 324 minus 128 is equals to 196 uh, and uh, if it is divided by 2 and now here we need to take the square root of 196 and it is equals to minus 18 plus minus we know that uh, square root of 196 is equals to 14 and it is divided by 2 uh, and you see here we have t is equals to here we break these two values first we can write the positive value it is minus 18 plus 14 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is minus 18 minus 14 divided by 2 so when we subtract these two values minus 18 plus 14 is equals to minus 4 over 2 and in this case we have t is equals to minus 18 minus 14 equals to minus 32 divided by 2 so in this case we easily get the value of t is equals to minus 2 and in this case we easily get the value of 2 is value of t is equals to minus 16 so from second method we again get the same values of t uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify these two values is these two values are satisfied our given question statement or not so for a verification of these values first we need to copy down given question statement here it is t plus 9 whole square equals to 49 and now here in uh, here we can divide this in two cases here we can write the value of t equals to minus 2 so when you put this value here uh, so here we check at t equals to minus 2 so when you put this value here it will be written as minus 2 plus uh, 9 whole square is equals to 49 minus 2 plus 9 becomes 7 square equals to 49 and we know that 7 square becomes 49 equals to 49 so this shows that t equals minus 2 satisfied this equation and similarly we, we check this value and it will be written as minus 16 plus 9 whole square equals to 49 minus 16 plus 9 is also becomes minus 7 square is equals to 49 and this is 49 is equals to 49 so this also shows that the second value of t is also satisfied the given question statement 
this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos